Chronic ulcerative paradental stomatitis also known as cups, is a disease of the mouth which causes painful ulcers on the gums and mucosal lining of the oral cavity in dogs. The cause of this condition has been determined to be a hypersensitive immune response to bacteria and plaque on the tooth surfaces. Sometimes signs of cups will start subsequent to a dental cleaning, when these materials are loosened in the mouth. Certain breeds of dogs appear to be at higher risk for developing this disease. Maltese, Cavalier King Charles Spaniels, and Cocker Spaniels, have been found to have a higher incidence, but other breeds of dogs can also be affected. One of of cups is idiopathic osteomyelitis, inflammation of the bone and marrow, which Cocker Spaniels have been found to be predisposed to. The clinical signs of chronic ulcerative paradental stomatitis are the following. Inflammation of the gums also known as gingivitis. Extreme oral sensitivity and pain. Behavioral changes. Dogs sufferings from this condition are usually head shy. Bad breath which is also known as halitosis. Oral ulcerations. Some people refers them as kissing ulcers. Soft plaque. Excessive salivation. Anorexia or reluctance to eat. Mostly due to the presence of oral discomfort or pain. Ulcers on the margins of tongue. The diagnosis of chronic ulcerative paradental stomatitis is based on the clinical signs previously discussed in this video and in the biopsy of the affected areas in the oral cavity. The treatment for cups includes frequent dental cleanings and polishing at an animal hospital and under general anesthesia. Please be aware that those popular anesthesia-free dental cleanings, offering by some pet stores and groomers, would not help in the treatment of this condition. Limited or full extract ions depending of the severity of this condition. Usually full dental extract ions are used as the last resort in the treatment of chronic ulcerative paradental disease. Some over-the-counter products that contain the ingredient chlorhexidine are helpful in reducing the bacteria population in the oral cavity of your pet. Products based on chlorine dioxide can decrease the bad breath of your pet. The most important aspect of treatment is a pet owner that is committed to follow the veterinarian's instruction and do follow up dental care at home. The prognosis for this dental condition is usually considered guarded. The prognosis depends on the commitment of owner to do dental cleanings every three to six months at their local veterinary hospital. We also need to take into consideration that full mouth extract ions might help but is not always successful in the treatment of chronic ulcerative paradental stomatitis. We also need to remember that even with treatment and full commitment of the pet owner, the lesions on the tongue may persist. For more information about chronic ulcerative paradental stomatitis in dogs, please contact your local animal hospital. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe and share with your friends and family.